BC is unique when it comes to reconciling with First Nations. It has its own specific laws for implementing a framework to meet a UN declaration, which sets minimum standards for Indigenous peoples' survival, dignity and well-being. To put meat on the bones, if you will, of the, uh, uh, the UN declaration, we passed a statute. It had unanimous support. And uh, the led then it was the hard part. How do we make sure that it's not just words? For the past four years, Murray Rankin's been BC's Minister of Indigenous Relations and Reconciliation. As part of the BC NDP government, he's retiring, but is proud of the work to move reconciliation from words to action. With initiatives such as funding to help nations purchase and investigate sites of former residential schools, Indigenous specific health care, nearly $2 billion for affordable housing, and of course, landmark agreements recognizing Aboriginal title in places like Haida Gwaii. I think we've managed to make some progress. We've moved the dial a little bit, but clearly there's way more to do. All political parties recognize this important work, but this election is introducing a difference of opinion over how to do it. As we go forward, we're going to be very focused, uh, like I mentioned, on getting our economy going, making things happen for both Indigenous and non-Indigenous alike to be able to prosper from that. That's why we're going to be very focused on what we call economic reconciliation. John Rustad is promising changes to BC's course on reconciliation leaning into his time as Indigenous Affairs Minister 10 years ago to continue with agreements with First Nations that focus on resource development in territories, saying through this economic reconciliation, we saw First Nations communities rise up from impoverished conditions and truly begin to thrive. Rustad also wants to repeal BC's commitment to the UN Declaration, saying land title agreements could infringe on private property rights. Title on Haida Gwaii will now exist underneath your private property underneath your communities. That also means Haida law will apply to those communities. Rustad's plan is being condemned. If we find it absolutely disturbing that Mr. Rustad is on record saying that he would repeal uh, DRIPA if he were elected as uh, Premier of British Columbia and uh, totally uh, destroy all of the progress we've made in the last several years. The B.C. Conservative leader is also being called out over misinformation as the Haida Agreement, according to signatories, does not apply to private property rights and existing government services and infrastructure on Haida Gwaii. Both the B.C. NDP and the B.C. Greens are committed to staying the course. They worry any changes could return the province to the courts to spend hundreds of millions of dollars on lawsuits over title fights, something the justice system has sided with nations over. Any politician who suggests that they can and ignore that direction and take us backward is wrong. We can't. The courts have been clear again and again and again. And so the work now is to lean into reconciliation. The political back and forth is creating uncertainty for nations trying to work in their communities to make life better for their members. It's a balance of the economy and it's a balance of holding up our culture, our language, our ceremony and how we're dealing with this healing journey as Indigenous communities in this non-Indigenous world. Williams Lake First Nations Chief Willie Sellers says his nation has benefited from the progress on reconciliation under the NDP. He simply wants the work to continue devoid of political rhetoric. You can only hope that whether it's the NDP or whether it's a Conservative or whether it's the Green Party, they're going to continue to have that conversation, hold us up and sit at our tables you know, and allow us to be part of that education with them. When it comes to winning elections, candidates must show how they're different from one another to push voters to make a choice. But when it comes to issues like reconciliation, the people involved in it would prefer votes for consensus. Chad Pawson, CBC News, Vancouver.